Hey guys, what's up? It's Doombreaker here, and I'm here with another tutorial for you guys. So, uh, this is a tutorial that was requested by a subscriber of mine. Uh, if you have some uh, things you want to uh, ask me about Visual Basic or you want to see a tutorial, just give me a PM or uh, put it in the comments below, and uh, I'll put it on my to do list. So, um, today's video is uh, about how to make a uh, trial period for your application so uh, what this means is that you can uh, give away your full version of your application for a certain amount of time so um, yeah there are many ways to do this but I'm going to show you the method I use and uh, that I thought of uh, because well if you look at uh, companies like Adobe or um, Sony when they have uh, a program they basically use uh, servers and stuff but uh, since we don't have the money to use servers I'm just going to uh, use this quick little code uh, so to start off you want to go to trial period or whatever your program is called in the solution explorer go to properties and that will bring you to this then you want to go to settings and let me tell you first what a setting is so a setting is basically um, a variable that you can save um, on the computer to uh, use it again when uh, the program starts up again so uh, that's very useful because when you uh, declare a variable in code uh, and you give it a value of let's say 2 and then you close the application it's just going to forget what that variable was so uh, but when you use this uh, you can make your application remember that the variable was 2 but uh, yeah that's a setting so you want to have three settings here you want to have trial active as a boolean and give it the value of false a start date as a type of date um, with no value then uh, trial used as a boolean with value false so um, that's all you need you can close that it's going to ask you if you want to save it uh, press yes and then we can go to the code so um, basically what we want to do is uh, of course have a button called button 1 here um, which says activate trial you can put it anywhere you want you can put it in a link label if you really want to you can put it in a menu strip or whatever but I'm going to use a button here and when the button is pressed my dot settings dot trial active so that means that the trial is active is going to be true my dot settings dot start date dot uh, sorry is equal to date dot today so uh, the start date is going to be the date that um, the button is pressed my dot settings dot trial use is going to be false um, I'm not sure if this is a requirement but I always put it in there and then we have my.settings.save to save all the settings and then we want to display a message box this is optional uh, saying you have activated your free trial of uh, 14 days so I'm going to uh, use 14 days you can use 7 days if you want you just have to uh, modify a little piece of code um, then before we do the load section we are going to uh, make a new sub called check date uh, and we, sh uh, we say declare dt as a date is equal to my.settings.startdate so um, what we are doing here is we are basically making a variable uh, that has the same value as our start date setting um, so yeah then we do um, well this is strange whatever um, so we declare days 
as a double which is equal to then uh, open brackets date dot now dot add days uh, open brackets minus and this is really important minus and then 14 so uh, if you want seven days just uh, put seven here um, and then uh, close the brackets say dot subtract or subtract um, open brackets DT close brackets close brackets um, dot total days so uh, basically what this is going to do it's going to uh, well it's going to take the day that we are now and then uh, subtract 14 days from it and then uh, that will be well, whatever um, then say uh, if days is smaller than or equal to zero then my dot settings dot trial active is true my dot settings dot save and then a message box saying you can keep using the trial so uh, that the trial is still active else so if it's bigger than zero um, it's just going to say my dot settings dot trial active is false my dot settings dot trial used is true and my dot settings dot save and then a message box saying your trial has ended now and this sub we are going to run it every time the form loads so to do this we just say if my dot settings dot trial active is true then check date and if if my dot settings dot trial used is true then button one dot enabled is false so uh, what this is this is also optional or I'm not sure if it's optional no it's not optional uh, <laughs> but whatever so what this is going to do is it's going to check if the trial is already uh, blah, has already been used and if um, the trial is used then you can't activate your trial anymore so yeah and then uh, to for debugging reasons I've put in this code so if you want to reset your settings you just uh, need to remove this and say my.settings.reset and it's going to reset all your settings to the default uh, values that are listed here so uh, thank you for watching guys if you like this video please click the like button below uh, follow my Twitter and my Facebook I've been posting uh, some stuff there also if you like my stuff please subscribe and uh, I see you guys next time bye